Yo, what's poppin', what's going on? Welcome back to another video, man. I feel like I went into own right now and I'm just knocking out the videos left and right, left and right, which is where I've been trying to get the past couple months. But today, man, I see about the title. It's a Q&A, quick q and I don't have any questions. I asked on Instagram a few days ago, like a week or so ago. Um, what did y'all think uh, for a couple of, uh, a couple questions for a Q&A? And I only got like six questions. It was technically it was six, but one of those was like a it was one that was out of pocket. But yeah, there was like 200 people that viewed my story, and only six people answered. So to the six people that answered the question, man, or who sent me a question, I appreciate you. We're gonna go through these real quick. Let me screen record my phone. Actually, before I get into everything, my last base, Holloman, New Mexico, 49 CS got me the best going away gift that I've ever received. This shit is so well put together, so thoughtful. The coolest shit ever, man. It's a bunch of pictures of me and other people throughout my time in New Mexico. So I think that's cool as hell and I got people to sign it, but they signed it for me and everything like that. So thank y'all for this. I'm gonna hang this up at some point. Uh, I wanna put it in here in my living room, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna figure that out. I'm gonna figure it out where I'm gonna put it. But I appreciate y'all for putting that together. For me, it means a lot. It means a whole lot to me. So thank y'all again. Let's get into these questions, man. All right, first one, man. Rondo said, what's the average amount of time it takes you to make a reel? It's a good question. I think it just depends on the kind of reel it is. So sometimes I, or I have done stuff where I shot on my phone and I'll just edit within TikTok and then get that out like, same day but sometimes i do take footage that i got from my phone and i import it into premiere and i edit that as well so like i said it just depends um there have been projects where i actually shot on my camera and then i'll go into premiere and chop that up but i would say no more than like a day or two because it's, it's real quick it's not like it's 10 minute videos it's just 15 seconds to like 45 second video so it's not like a lot that goes into it, but just a lot that goes into it, you know what I mean? It's not too much. Sometimes I get distracted and I, I just don't work on it for a couple of days, but I'm actively focused on that a day. But that's a good question, man. Also, make sure y'all go follow Rondo. He does, by the time this comes out, the sale will be over or the pre-order might be over, but go check out his website. He does have merch for his Euro company. A lot of good stuff on there. I got my own coming in as well whenever it does get here. So make sure y'all go check out Rondo. This next one, this is the one that I said was out of pocket. So we're gonna skip it, but you know what you said. But um, yeah, moving on to the next one. Harris said, how many videos currently are you sitting on? Uh, I think I'm probably sitting on 11 or 12 videos that haven't been edited yet. Are they all gonna get edited this year? Probably not. Who knows? I don't know, man, but the ones that I wanna get out, I'll probably say around five or six realistically ones that I'm actually sitting on that I wanna edit and get out to y'all. Like some behind the scenes for my last two music videos, a couple of tutorials, and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, man, it's probably like realistically five or six videos that I'm currently sitting on. Harris also said, if you can shoot a video for any artist, who and what song would you do it for? Give us a description. Um, I would say right now, either Baby Keem or Don Tolliver. Because if you go watch Baby Keem's videos and Don Tolliver's videos, they're very creative and it's like, shit that you've never seen before. So that's what I wanna do. I wanna do stuff that I've never done or things that people have never seen. So it's like, bro, how the fuck did they get that shot? So that's what my mindset is. And I feel like the creative team that works with Baby King and Kendrick Lamar and all these other creative artists, that's their mindset when they put together these videos. So that's what I'll work for just because of the shit that they put out. It just looks so cool. He also said, what song would I do it for? 16, Baby Keem 16. If you go watch that video, that shit to me looks just, it's so cool, man. It's just perfectly pieced together. It's a creative piece of work, like everything, man. Like I like shit like that. I've never seen a project like that before. So that's why I would like to work with artists like that who put time into what they're putting out and means a lot to them. Same thing with Don Tolliver. A lot of his videos are 
very artistic and creative. That's who I work for song-wise. For sure, Baby Came 16, I would love to reshoot something like that. Shit's cool as hell to me. Also, make sure y'all check out The Real Spill Podcast. The Real Spill Pod, link's in the description. It's a lot of good shit they've been talking about. He has the like audio podcast and the actual video podcast as well, so go check it out. All right, so what we got next? We got VZ. What to do with Sade? <laughs> do you mind sharing one goal for the coming year as far as filming? Mm, that's a good question, man. A goal for me? I really want to shoot a short film, but I don't think that's going to be something that I would do for this year. Oh, for the coming year. Yeah, for the coming year. For next year. Next year, I would love to shoot a short film, whether that be around just myself, like a self short film or a short film with an actual team or a group of people. I don't know the whole idea around it yet, but it's in a process. It's in the back of my mind. I just have to piece it together and just make that shit come to life. And for next year as well, um, just be more consistent, man. I feel like I kind of got off the, got off track with a lot of my stuff as far as YouTube and putting out consistent work. Because in 2020, that's when I noticed the most growth for my um, YouTube channels. I was putting out shit every fucking week. And part of that was because I had deployed, or I deployed, that shit got canceled, but I had prep work or prep uploads for the time I was going to be gone. So I had like 12 videos already shot, edited, and uploaded to YouTube for the time I was going to be gone for the six months. But when I got, when my shit got canceled, I had so much work already on the back end, so I was working on extra shit. So that's why um, I was able to get so much content out. But it's still attainable to do now. I just have to fucking do it. And I'm in a bigger city, more people to work with. Um, my mind is just working a lot better now. So yeah, that's coming, man. That's that's the goals for next year. Short film and just to be more consistent with my uploads and everything like that. Great question, man. I appreciate you as well, man. This man, Lil June. Lil June said, how much would you shoot or how much for you to shoot my next videos in Germany? If for me to come travel anywhere, not just Germany, I'm, all my, expenses for travel has to be paid for it has i'm not coming out of pocket for anything for travel for flights hotel that has to be paid for so that number could range from a thousand to three thousand or five hundred to fifteen hundred it just depends on the location the flights hotel and everything like that and then what is needed for the shoot yeah man it varies man it just depends but uh I would love to shoot with you, man. But if you are being for real, just let me know, hit me up, and we can try to make something work. And then you also know, both in the military, so I have to make sure I have enough leave days um, that works around things that I already have planned out for myself. So that's another factor as well. But it is possible, it is possible. That's a good question though. The last question is from Leah Tiandra. She said, no question, just wanted to say, your videos and photos are dope as fuck. You are going to make it far. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for that. It means a lot to me because y'all don't see the shit that I be doing behind the scenes, man. There's so much effort that I put into these videos and the photos. It's, it's a lot, which is why I got some shit like this, man. Because not just for my video stuff, man. People who know me know I, I go hard with anything that my name is attached to. I try to impact as many people as I can the best that I can do it. So that is it for the Q&A. Damn, that was a 17 minute recording, bro. <laughs> I um, thought I was gonna be a little bit shorter than that, but um, that was some good questions. Hopefully y'all will get this a week after the vlog that just dropped today. Today is October, what, 9th or October 8th? Hopefully this comes out next week, next Saturday or Friday. I'm gonna be working on the video for this as well practicing with this cinema lens dzo film best bit prime about to find a spot to hang this up cool as hell man can i get closer look at that that shit made my day when i saw it, man this shit made my entire day i swear it did hopefully this video was informational to y'all provided good feedback with the questions that i answered so if you enjoyed this video, man, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys with my next video. My guys, peace.